It's me, Imad from Nelson Darwin, Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a half wave rectifier within the DCSE Lab online simulator. First, we just need two components, or mainly we can say three up to three components. That is the AC source, our rectification diode. And the third is our oscilloscope in order to see some waveforms, output and input waveforms. Okay, now we need to put our oscilloscope here. Okay. Now we need to connect our 1.5 volt power supply with the diode. Okay, now like this okay now this one and then okay or like this and we can connect it uh, with the resistor if we want or some led no no led is also a diode we we can use our what's called is the lamp yeah or even without we can put our oscilloscope here okay first we will observe our ac waveform like this okay now we can see that our ac waveform is having 1.5 volt peak to peak so they are very much less we have to increase the voltage as well as to increase the frequency because lower frequencies are like uh, difficult to see so we can even increase the frequency to like uh, 200 hertz or even 500 hertz okay and it's it to 4 or 3 volt peak to peak okay okay now now we can see that our time division it, it it simply means that our one block x-axis block is equal to 0.1 millisecond okay so in 0.1 millisecond we have these okay these much what's called as the uh, wave uh, uh, the, the the waveforms are frequency okay if we need to increase the uh, our x axis time axis like uh, one block to 10 milliseconds then uh, it's, it's, it's automatically adjusting itself to one meter but we are okay wait now we will see that what on one millisecond is now we can see that both the positive peak and negative peak is occurring and we can see both of these peaks but this is the pure ac signal it it has like it it, it is of sinusoidal shape so it is a pure ac signal now we need to observe the rectified pulse so for it we will take our What's called is the positive prod of the second side to to the uh, cathode side of the diode and negative side or black side to the black to the right side of the AC waveform. Now, hopefully, you will see that we have one. Yes, now you can see two waveforms. One is sinusoidal, okay? One is sinusoidal, and which is after the diode is the rectified one. We can see a little bit shifting, and there is a little magnitude because of the fact that some of the volts, that is 0.7 volts, used to drop within the diode. So that is why its magnitude is less. And it is shifted a bit uh, because obviously uh, there is like uh, a switching delay between both of the devices 
so obviously there is some sort of shift in time but our main purpose is to see the rectified pulse rectified dc pulse ac has both the cycles positive and negative while the yellow waveform is having just one cycle so hopefully you got the concept regarding how we can make a rectified dc waveform within the dcsc lab so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel